Okay, this is one of the burners. Now these are cast iron. So, uh, now we had a delayed ignition on this burner. So, uh, one of the things, and we normally do this if we did a service, we'd pull these burners out and we'd run a hacksaw blade through here. Now I'm going to quickly show you how that's done. Okay, the way I'd clean these, I'd start at one end with just a hacksaw. And just go through each one of them, just a couple of runs back and forth. If you've got a vac, you really need a vac to do this silly thing, uh, because you got to clean out that heat exchanger. Everything. But anyway, you go through all of these slots on it. Uh, and then you vac out anything that's left. Of course, when it when you're done, you get a pile of crap out of it. Uh, like that. And make sure you dump all that stuff out. So anyway, we're going to... Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the pilot assembly. Okay, here's your pilot assembly. This thing wasn't on there very tight. just kind of dangling around and I'm going to pull that off and clean it here's our pilot assembly when it's off uh, looks to me like it draws its primary air through these little holes here and so I'm going to be uh, running a brush over this and knocking crap out of it and see if we can get it because remember we had a lazy blue tip or yellow tip flame on this thing and we're trying to get rid of that Okay, you can kind of see we went ahead and vacuumed it out, got it reasonably clean in there. I'm also checking the sides here, uh, again, to make sure there are no cracks or rusted out spots. And we're going to get, we've cleaned the burners, we're going to get them back in, and we'll fire this sucker off. Okay, we've got our old furnace here, we've cleaned the pilot, we've cleaned the burners, we check the heat exchanger, we've cleaned the heat exchanger, we've done most everything we need to do to get this thing fired back up again. Now, one of the first things I wanted to go over was that pilot. Now before, that pilot was yellow tipped. Now I've cleaned that pilot assembly and let's take a look. Okay, that's pretty much what I'm looking for. You can see that's all blue. It's covering the thermocouple well. Uh, if you look real close in that thermocouple, you can see, I can't see it very good, but the top of it is kind of broken up. It should have been replaced. Now, I'm not replacing it on this thing because this is just a, a mule. But uh, anyway, the pilot's going okay. Now, one of the first things I should be doing is leak checking the pilot tubes. Like that. Uh, this valve here, I moved it. I'm going to check all these uh, lines, valves, anything that I have removed. And I'm looking for bubbles. And you can see we've got a leak at the bottom of that valve. 